AA awards within the industry comes with real kudos. Um, every hotel company is wanting to, to win awards. They don't go chasing them, but you hope with the job that you do, with the consistency of what you're showing, you'll win an award. And I think the AA, without doubt, is very objective with uh, what they come through. You know the standards, you know the requirements, and if you're going to win those awards, there's no way of shortcutting it. You have to ensure you do things properly. It's an institution and it's got its roots firmly embedded in our industry um, and it's got great respect, you know, not just from uh, our guests um, but our industry peers as well. Great to have such recognition for the hard work um, that we and the guys will put in for the, for the last few years and it was a great boost for morale. They are the industry's um, grading system uh, and right from the start of my career um, I always believed in working with, with the organization uh, and not being in fear of them. Uh, they're there to help, uh, they're there to recognize quality um, and of course uh, they do a great service for the country uh, and for tourism. The Rosette system is something that I, I think is incredibly important. I think it's um, not only does it put you in a position amongst your peers where you feel personally that you're, you're achieving but it also helps in terms of um, staff retention, uh, attracting staff, and it helps to build a, on young guys' CVs. You know, they start at a young age, and you know, if you start working in a four rosette place, you know, you're already getting, a, I, I suppose, a very good grounding. And then when you move on to other restaurants, which inevitably people do, um, you already have something that's fantastic on your on your CV. Historically, you know, people have been using guidebooks, you know, for a very long time. And as things have mechanised and modernised, obviously different medias have, have, have supported the regular guidebook. But ultimately, I think there's something rather romantic and, and quite warming, I think, to, to get a good guidebook with, you know, positive information. Potential guests are looking at the AA as a place to look for, to see how they rate an establishment and if uh, a company such as the AA are giving it the right type of accolade that has to be good for our business. From looking at the AA Chef Chess Award and, and the people that have won it and in part of um, like historically you look down the names and uh, you know I'm incredibly proud to be a part of that and it's wonderful to see I, I suppose it kind of grows and you see it from the 80s and 90s and now through to where we are now and, and different names of different eras of chefs that were recognised industry. Um, it's kind of like a, almost like a family tree of people who've worked with somebody else, who've grown with somebody else, who've become, and, and you see it grow and to be, to be part of that list is something that I am so, so proud of. To listen to Simon Numford explain the reasons why I'd won this ultimate award and then to actually step up onto the stage to a standing ovation from 950 uh, of leaders of the industry uh, and my peers uh, in the presence of my family uh, is uh, an occasion I will remember for the rest of my life.